Welcome to this session on Enhanced Capabilities in Pervasive Dashboards. In the coming minutes, you will learn how Pervasive Analytics in SAP Business One can help you to make better business decisions. A common rule of thumb in business says, within a multi-product company, a small proportion of products accounts for a majority of revenue. Therefore, companies have a need to classify the products according to their significance. The ABC analysis is an often used approach to do that. It classifies the products into the categories A, B and C according to the revenue contribution of each product. Let us have a look at how pervasive analytics of SAP Business One can help you using ABC analysis. For this, we go into the Pervasive Analytics Designer and choose to create a new dashboard. As a data source, we choose a proper HANA view which contains sales revenue by product items. We define that revenue should be the measure to be used for classification. And second, we decide that the product item is the business object to be classified. You can already see on the right that a chart has been instantly created showing the revenue by product items. The vital step is now to select ABC analysis under strategy type. Second, you can select how to define the categories A, B and C. In our example, we define that C products account for 10% of the revenue and A products should account for 75% of the revenue. Finally, we can save our dashboard. Now we want to bring our dashboard onto the cockpit in SAP Business One. In the SAP Business One cockpit, you can see the actual ABC analysis of your product. This dashboard shows you the sales revenues by product items. The product items are ranked and grouped into A, B or C. You can identify exactly which product belongs to which category. As a conclusion for the business, you could decide to put your focus on activities for the A products and reconsider C products. ABC analysis can be done not only for products, but it makes sense to classify other business objects too, like customers or suppliers. And you need not to stick to revenue as the measure for significance. Any measure which is of value for the company could be used, for example, profit or purchasing spend per supplier. Now imagine you want to classify your customers. Revenue is not the only measure you like to use, but also how frequent a customer has bought from your company and whether he has bought some years ago or just recently. For this case, let us look at an existing pervasive dashboard. In this example, customers are classified by three measures. By recency, which expresses how current a customer is, by frequency, which tells us how often a customer has bought, and by monetary, which reflects the revenue. For this classification, we can use the strategy type K-means. Unlike the ABC analysis, we are not limited to three categories A, B and C, but we can choose how many categories we like to have. For example, if I choose to have four categories, the chart will be updated immediately to show me the four categories represented by the color of the bubbles. Let us save this change and have a look at the cockpit. In this dashboard, we can see how each customer is classified by three measures. Again, as a business conclusion, you can decide to devote more time to your important customers represented by the green and the yellow bubbles.